you're brand new, if you're into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, or startups, or anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated to put this content out for you guys. In this video, I want to start going back over some JavaScript coding challenges. For the sake of this channel, I'm going to be doing the medium problems to kind of just show you guys some of the intermediate problems. All right, guys, this first one is going to be converting objects to arrays. So we're going to write a function that converts an object into an array where each element represents a key value pair. They're going to give us an object where we have A and B inside it, and the value of A is going to be 1, and the value of B is going to be 2. And then we're going to create an array that has an array for each value. For A, we're going to have A as the key, and then we're going to have 1 as the value. And then for our second one, for B, in our second array, we're going to have B as the key and 2 as the value. And then same thing down here for strength and tots. As you guys can see, we just create another array that has an array for each element in the first object. So I'm gonna show you guys an example I did a while ago. It's really interesting to see my code from back then and just think about how I would refactor it now. So I'm not gonna say I have the most optimal solution, but you guys can use it as a base case and then you guys can go back and use it to refactor it however you like. The first thing that I'm gonna do is create an empty array. And so we'll just call it, uh, we'll just call it updated. So we want to loop over every element in the object array. And for that, we're going to need to use a for loop. So um, I'm going to say for every key in the object, um, and key is just a variable, so it could really be named anything. Um, so that, that I'm just saying key because it, it literally represents what we're calling um, the key. So all we're going to want to do is take that key and create a, a value for it inside of our updated array. So we're just gonna push into it. We're gonna say update or updated dot push. And then inside of this array, so now whatever we have um, inside this push is gonna get placed inside of our updated array. So we're gonna wanna create another array inside of it. And we're gonna want the key to be the key of it. Then we want the value of every single element to match up to the same key. So we're just literally creating a new array of the same exact thing that is in object in order to get the value of each key value pair we can literally just say object and specify which key we want it from and that will give us the value of each key inside the object so we can then just return updated because now we should have a new array that has everything that we need All right, cool. And so we pass. And so the thing is, for every single thing that's inside, if we look at the test cases, we look at the test case to see why it passes. We can see that the first thing that they pass into the test case is going to be object. So the things beside these curly inside the curly braces represents object here, OBJ. So we can see that we have a key of A, a value of one, a key of B, and a value of two. In this next test case here. We've got three different key value pairs. Each one of these right here represents uh, a test case of an object that over here in code is represented by OBJ. And then you can see over here that the expected output should be an array of the exact same thing. So if we have A right here with a value of one, we should have an array that has A with a key and one as the value. And then same thing, same thing over here for the rest of them. Each element inside the object gets its own array with the same key value. So foo33, foo33, bar45, bar45. So yeah, guys, that was a really quick solution. Um, You guys go ahead and take this code and try to refactor it or go on Elevate Yourself, create an account and go ahead and try to do some of the challenges wherever you guys feel comfortable. If you guys are interested in going to coding bootcamp or thinking about getting into coding, make sure you guys check out the link in the description down below where I'm getting with my free intro to coding bootcamp course where I'm teaching everything I pretty much wish I knew before I went to coding bootcamp. And also there's a link to a private Facebook group down there where there's other people trying to learn coding and just building a community where I'm giving away all the other resources that I don't give away in all the descriptions of the videos. So make sure you guys check that out. Again, this is Darian with Darian Dev. Thanks guys for being here. I'll see you guys next video, all right? Peace.